welcome to your favorite show, Admiral Science. I am one of your hosts. Ah, I'm the host too, Miss Graves, and today we're going to be talking about nuclear energy. Now, we're not going to be talking about nuclear energy in the classroom, so you need to know about nuclear energy. It's not a lot. So there are a couple of things that I want you to do. What you're going to do is copy these notes into your interactive notebook. I know if you're in my class, we've talked about Cornell notes, but what you're going to do is just copy down these notes, these questions, and we're going to go over the answers to these. All right, so nuclear reactions, what are we talking about here? What is nuclear energy? Well, it's actually energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. Makes sense, right? Nuclear energy, energy in the nucleus. They actually can convert very small or minute amounts of matter into large amounts of energy. Very, very large. So of course you know how small the atom is, you know how small the nucleus can be. So that little bit of matter can make a much, 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 much larger amount of energy. There are two ways that energy can be released and that is nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. So let's talk about these. Fusion. It is when two or more nuclei, which is plural for nucleus, they join together to form a more massive nucleus. So that is what happens when a hydrogen and a hydrogen come together, they form a helium because of course, we already talked about the elements in the periodic table. So what happens is it produces an enormous amount of energy. More about nuclear fusion. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Okay, more about nuclear fusion. It actually requires for temperatures over 100 million degrees Celsius. So it's really, really hot. Very, very, oh my gosh, hot. It occurs in the sun's core and no radioactive waste products, which of course would be a good thing. Sammy, what are you doing? And lots of energy is released a lot of now, energy. fission is something that is totally different it's actually the complete opposite where fusion two nuclei are coming together fission is when the large nucleus splits, splits into two smaller nuclei so this is what happens like example uranium 235 that would actually split into smaller amounts of nuclei and then that would also release energy. Nuclear fission is a bad, bad thing. If you were to go to Think Central and go to Nuclear Reactions, you should be able to play the digital lesson. All of the teachers are going to assign the digital lesson just for one extra thing for you guys to be able to look at. And there it is, actually loading. So you guys have no excuses. Nuclear reactions take place when the nuclei of atoms collide or split. That should help you guys, right? Remember, your test on Thursday, October the 30th, whether you're in Mr. Allen's class, my class, Ms. Effett's class, or Ms. Horton Jackson's class, you need to know nuclear reactions and nuclear energy. I think Ms. Horton Jackson's teaching it, but not all of us. So make sure that you get a handle on this and ask your teachers if you have any questions. So that's it for this episode of Admiral Science. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.